Meadowdale is a small coastal stream that's been protected and is surrounded by a county park. Well, this park's been here since the 60s, um, and the entire time the public only had about a six foot wide culvert that they had to duck down and go through to get out to the beach. During flood season, a lot of water would come down and flood the park, but with that also came a lot of sediment, and that sediment would build up behind the culvert. Every year, because it's a natural process, we would be coming down and cleaning out the sediment, which required permits, working in the water, a lot of complication to, to just keep the tunnel basically cleared. With no access for much of the winter time or much of the year, it posed a lot of problems, both for salmon and for flooding in the park, as well as for people. The tunnel was impassable, so people would try to cross the tracks up and over, and that was both a liability for the county and for BNSF. The project of Meadowdale was really opening up what used to be a six foot opening to the beach into an over a hundred foot opening that also has ADA access, allows fish to get through easier, and restores an old historic estuary that's critical habitat for Chinook salmon. There's two elements to the entire project. You have the estuary work and you have the upper park kind of amenity upgrade along with the bridge replacement. We replaced about 128 feet worth of embankment into a bridge. Thousands of cubic yards of earth has been removed, not only from the embankment, but from the estuary itself. The water flowed down Lund Gotch Creek here, it exited through the culvert, and it kind of fire hosed out. And by opening this entire area, the water now has its way to escape naturally. And the natural way that water is gonna flow here is up to the north. So part of the project was to groom the beach side to allow the water to flow out under the bridge and make its way to the sound in more of a historical, natural way. They were able to look at old photos and say this is how it used to be and kind of recreate that estuary. As soon as we opened this up, we took the culvert out, built the trestle, salmon moved right in. They were seen almost immediately. So the most important thing was really deciding about more than a decade ago, as a county, could we take on a project of this magnitude? There's no easy project. People often think, oh, it's a park, how hard can it be, right? Well, the answer is really, really hard. It takes a lot of coordination to have a project like this come together and get finished. It takes a lot of energy, it takes time, it takes funding, and connecting the dots between a private entity, multiple public agencies, tribal partners, and environmental community and recreational community and neighbors who also want to have access and not be too inconvenienced by the process is difficult to say the least, but it's worth every minute of it to get to this point. You know, this is a great asset for Snohomish County residents and all of our visitors. Snohomish County is one of our most rapidly growing counties in the state, and so to have access to a place like this is, is pretty amazing. You know, in addition to water access, you get to see a restored estuary learn about what the values of an estuary are. And then there's this beautiful, you know, one and a quarter mile hike down that you can enjoy and get some nature in the middle of a really urban area. Meadowdale construction has been a long time in the making. It took us over 10 years to get to where we are right now, finishing up construction of this restoration site. But for us who are doing the restoration monitoring of this project, the work is really just beginning. Because while we've been monitoring the site pre-restoration, we will also now be monitoring it post-restoration in order to understand its effectiveness. Even just right after construction, we originally had the stream in a small starter channel, and already that channel is creating complexity and starting to change. And we expect that it will continue to change over the next 10 years. This uh, thing we think of as disruption often has very beneficial long-term aspects to it. Meadowdale is the first of its type in the Puget Sound, and that's because it's the only project where we've been able to reach full restoration design under the railway. We just recently learned that this project is going to be the recipient of the NRPA Innovation and Conservation Award. There is only one given out nationally, so this is a huge honor. They shared basically that this project with the number of challenges that were addressed and in providing such a great public space was selected to be that recipient. 
Meadowdale is just one of many small coastal streams that we need to address in Puget Sound. And in order to restore salmon populations in Puget Sound, we need more access to habitat like Meadowdale is now. We really hope that Meadowdale is a pilot project for many more to come.